Hello, Mioni here and welcome back to another news video for Final Fantasy XIV. This then today, the 14th of December 2020, and we have some new items, new optional items, and indeed a sale on the Mog Station Final Fantasy XIV online store for in-game items. This is the cash shop. And of course, we have some new items indeed, as well as some that you might remember from last year's uh, festival. Essentially, the, uh, the the actual Starlight Festival. So Starlight uh, 2020 is well ahead in the game, as you've probably seen from the other videos. But on the Mog Station today, you can get, under the New Items tab, it will show you. Look, if you click View All, these are the new items. We can get the Collegiate, Collegiate, I don't know how to pronounce that, attire. This is the slacks version or the skirt version. Now you'll notice they've not done male and female because these are non-gender. These are not gender-locked. So you can purchase the male outfit and put it on a female character. You can purchase the female outfit and put it on a male character. In fact, if we go on the actual preview, you'll see that they're even previewing it on a Hrothgar here, which is, well, rather entertaining to me. But there you go. That just proves what it looks like on a male character. And of course, we have ourselves some die previews on here as well. So if we go back to the on sale section, oh, sorry, new item section, you'll see that they've added these two items. We'll look at those in just a moment. Just to preface, this is £11.16 pence in the United Kingdom. In dollars, that's 18 US dollars. And in euros, that will cost you 13 euros 50 cents. So bear that in mind if you want to get those. Additionally, we have the authentic Starlight Barding as well as the Saintly Barding. These will cost you £4.03 in the United Kingdom or seven US dollars. Or alternatively, if you live in Europe, that will be four euros 90 cents for those barding pieces, uh, if that's what tickles your fancy. Additionally, we have the Starlight de Chocobo Orchestrion roll for one pound 73 pence, which is last year's Starlight event uh, theme, if you don't remember, with the Chocobo involved in the choir, which was quite nice, actually. Three US dollars, that will also cost you in American currency, and in euros, that's two euros ten cents. Not too bad. I would recommend that piece of music. It's quite nice. We also have the authentic choir concert advertisement poster, which is a wall item. This will cost you two pounds eighty-eight pence. Um, in same price will be the authentic starlight gobu reef and the five authentic starlight roll cakes. If we change that to US, you'll find those three items are five US dollars each, and in euros that works out at three euros 50 cents each so if you want food tabletop items a poster or of course a gobu reef which is actually really nice by the way those will cost you um you know that value of money so yes we've looked at these items all before if you're unfamiliar you can search for those on our um, on the actual channel um, just type in 2019 Starlight Festival. But one thing that we haven't looked at is obviously the new items. We'll look at those in just a second. There is a new sale on, which I'd be remiss not to mention. This includes things like Tales of Adventure. So we got the level boost, obviously, up to level 70 for all of the jobs there. And we also have the choir attire down to two pounds, two pence. Look, um, you know, as you can see here, there's quite a lot of the Christmas event stuff from previous years that have been slashed in price. Uh, about a 10% reduction, something like that, right? Not too drastic, but as you can see, there's plenty of things on sale. Yeah, all the way through all of the Christmas-themed stuff that they've ever added, by the looks of it. Uh, Christmas trees and stuff, because they know people will want to buy them, and the ornaments, of course, to hang up. Um, but, of course, we've got the mounts and stuff as well, as well as job boosts. So if you fancied, like, uh, job boosting one of your alts or something leveling that to level 70 without having to mess around and get it there yourself, then that will cost you £14.80, or of course that's 20 US dollars instead of 25, and for euros that's 17.40 instead of 21.75, which is a drastic reduction, I think you'll agree. So yeah, go check it out, uh, there'll be a link in the description to the store page, so you can browse at your leisure, but anyway we have two new outfits to look at. So let's switch to the in-game and show them with my girlfriend, Fran. All right, so here we are in-game now, since we had a look at all of the things on the shop. I'm joined by my girlfriend, Fran, and uh, 
Fran is wearing the male version of this attire, this brand new costume, and I'm wearing the female quote unquote uh, version of this attire. However, these are not gender locked, which is why Fran is able to wear what she is wearing, uh, which is a fantastic, fantastic addition. This is the first time in a long time that we've seen uh, gender unlocked options. So obviously these are two separate costumes. You have to pay um, you know, a price for each individual one, but you can obviously have both. Uh, these are not account bound. These are bound to the character you purchased them on. And these will cost you £11.16 uh, for both the male and female variant. Obviously, if you want both of those, then you're going to be paying over £22. Individually, then, eighteen US dollars is the American price and €13.50 if you're in Europe. These look pretty good. What do you think, friend? Uh, yeah, reminds me of uh, Hogwarts uniforms, <laughs> slightly. Hogwarts uniforms. And we have this crest, which I believe is the Ish Guardian crest on, on the breast pocket there. I could be wrong. Uh, slight differences then. Obviously, I have a bow tie. You have a long tie on the male version. Um, still long sleeve. We have the sort of beige cardigan, which is slightly different for females. Uh, the male version has the unbuttoned shirt. We have it buttoned with a bow tie. Um, the, the, the actual buttons are actually on opposite sides look, of, the, of the actual blazer itself. Uh, they're identical in every other way, including the cufflink area. And then obviously the other difference is that the female version has this skirt, which is one of the shortest skirts in the, the game. Um, it also has pants underneath it. So it isn't using the default, um, you know, naked pants that we normally have as horrible beige things. It's using what, almost like sport um, pants, aren't they? Sort of cycling thing. shorts, yeah. Yeah, cycling shorts. And then the male version has these long trousers, which are quite nice, actually. Um, you know, not, not creased too badly, not quite straight. Similar to the uh, the Cloud Strife outfit in many ways. The boots then on the males. Um, if you want to take your trousers off just for a second, friend, if that's possible. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of a bit of a weird. Oh God, that looks worse than I expected. Um, just to show off the difference in the the ankle sock height there. You know that looks really awkward. Don't don't be looking at a crotch. Look at the look at the socks, guys. Um, we got the shoes, which are basically the same kind of shoes for the most part. I think they are identical, aren't they? I think I so. Okay. Apart from the sock I length. So. Yeah. Yeah, and the female sock length is is obviously a bit longer and the males is a much shorter. You can put your pants back on now. Sorry about that. I feel I feel terrible asking you to get your pants off. But um, you know a bit too early for that. <laughs> Maybe later. Um <laughs> <laughs> The other thing then is obviously that uh, you know it, it it's quite cool. It's quite cool, but the die options are a bit of a letdown, aren't they? Yes, they are. So let's go into a die preview just very briefly to show you some examples of what we're talking about. Um, let's scale that window to 200%, and you'll see um, it's a lot darker without soot black on it. That's the first thing. It doesn't die too badly, the waistcoat, actually. Not too badly, but this is the, the dye palette area that actually dyes. Um, stuff like ruby red looks quite good in that. A little bit opaque colours. Not very bright, is it? It's very pitted. Um, but it looks quite nice. The skirt looks beautiful in ruby red, actually. I don't know if you've looked at that, friend. Yeah, I have. And lots of browns look. It's it's not a bad, bad uniform, but obviously, me personally, I'm not a massive fan of... Um, of keeping this as one outfit, I will probably end up using the uh, the skirt more than anything on this set. I think I don't know. I'm not sure which I prefer. Maybe you could mix and match between the male and the female um, stuff, which is great. Which is something we've not been able to do before. Pure white. White looks grey on this outfit. It's quite surprising. So any dye you put on this is going to look darker than it actually is. And uh, for the most part, things look a bit sort of washed out, don't they? Also, the skirt, I did dye the skirt earlier. It 
it's actually darker if you leave it the original color if you try and put a soot black or jet black it kind of lightens it which is strange oh yeah we can see that in um in the preview window now actually look at this so there's oh, 10 of it really weird oh yeah it adds like a gray tinge to it very interesting so it has some really weird sort of effects it does have that sort of weird shadow effect on it as well with a red i quite like it though i do like the ruby red on that very cool um obviously mixing and matching between male and female outfits something we've not been able to do before there you go there's the male top with the female bottoms uh one of the other advantages then is that the the male top is longer isn't it than the female yes. top so you have more of this sort of baggy nature going on i think that looks quite cute actually yeah um, i made a, a glamour earlier with that on but i can't change in the middle here unfortunately <laughs> yeah so one of the other questions would be um in terms of the the legs we all love where are they i don't know i've messed up uh I can't change my glamour right now. The Quain Trail skirt is what I was going to show off, but I can't do it right now. It doesn't work with with the outfit, does it? No, it does not. Which is a problem. A sad problem. Even the ladies' one doesn't work as well, I tried. Mm. Which is a shame, because the ladies' one looks exactly the same length as the... Uh, as the leather jacket which works with yes yeah, same length it is it does look like it's the same length doesn't it very interesting but very the interesting. leather jacket works and but that one doesn't unfortunately yeah so dye palette not the best not the worst um interchangeability between genders pretty cool that's a plus from from me but as for a complete set mm, not a massive fan personally uh, I don't think. How do, how do you feel about it? What are your summary? I wish that with the top there was multiple dye levels. So you could dye the, the bow. You could dye the vest jacket in. Maybe you could take the logo off the pa uh, the jacket if you really wanted to. Hmm. Like how hats hats have visor visor options. You can take off the uh the sigil off with a click of a button. Um, that would be cool or even if we could replace it with the FC's sigils at the um, yeah, um, at the FC good. guy because if I go to the FC guy I can guarantee it will probably place it on my arm or something if this is even possible to do it with but yeah I do like the male jacket more than the female jacket but there we go if you want to have both of these outfits it's going to set you back over £20 is it worth that? well it's diable multi-gender i mean yeah i'd say so i'd say so but um yeah definitely got it for the skirt more than anything i think the other advantage to this skirt over the coin trails is of course when you sit down you're not going to be flashing too much pantsu uh it's a much closer to the leg sort of skirt isn't it it doesn't ruffle yeah. up too badly so the ruffled skirt isn't gonna you know it, this isn't a problem so there we go anyway that's a look at the in-game items, and that's uh, that's a night I look at all of the items from today's video. So thank you all kindly for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, we'll hopefully see you all next time, won't we, friend? Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. Much, much love.